in this video I will help you to understand how to calculate missing frequency in mean in discrete series okay in my previous video I have already explained you how to find out mean median and mode in individual series discrete series and continuous series if you haven't watched that video I request you to go and watch that video first so that you'll have a base knowledge about how to calculate all these central tendencies let's see the question from the following data find the missing frequency find the missing frequency where mean is 15.38 so mean is already given here 15.38 we need to calculate missing frequency okay with the help of these data we get to know whether it is a discrete series or continuous series it is not going to mention in the question with the help of these things we'll find out whether it is a discrete series or a continuous series let us see the solution calculation of missing frequency where mean is 15.38 have written as it is x values and f values so the formula for mean is mean equal to summation fx by n okay so the n is number of observation if you are adding the frequency we will get the value of n so add 3 plus 7 here we don't know the number we need to find this for that we are keeping that question mark as x 3 plus 7 plus 20 plus 8 plus 5 plus x 43 plus x See, whenever you are adding a variable you need to add separately you cannot write it as 43x when you are multiplying then you can write as 43x but if you are adding then you have to keep it separate 43 plus x okay. then you know we know this one we know this one now we need to first multiply f into x so f into x both you we need to multiply 10 into 3 30 12 into 7 84 14 into x 14 x see i'm writing 14 x because i'm multiplying this two number one number and one variable 16 into 20 320 18 into 8 144 20 into 500 okay so we need a summation of f into x now we are adding summation is nothing but add summation of f into x add 30 84 320, 144, 100 is 7, 678 plus 14x. Why I am adding separately? Because it has a variable. Now, substitute in the formula. Mean 15.38 we have 15.38 so we are going to write in the place of mean 15.38 15.38 equal to summation fx is 678 plus 14x by n is 43 plus x now do cross multiplication 15.38 into 43 plus x bracket means multiplication equal to 678 plus 14x 
Now multiply these two 15.38 into 43, 661.34. You can use a calculator, examiner is going to allow calculator in your degree level. If you are in 10th class or inter level, they will not allow. You have to do by yourself. Take a rough note and start multiply plus as it is. 15.38 into x, 15.38x equal to, write as it is, 678 plus 14x. Now, send number one side and variable one side. These two have variables with this one and this one. So, Send one side 15.38x and 14x. So this is LHS and this is RHS. 15.38x minus 14x. Why I have changed the sign? Because whenever you are changing the position of a number, you need to change the sign as well. Plus become minus, minus become plus. Division become multiplication and multipli multiplication become division equal to 678 now send this number to this side it will become minus 661.34 15.38 minus 14 1.38 x equal to 678 minus this 16.66 x equal to 16.66 by 1.38 see I told you when you are sending the multiplication then it will become a division so 1.38 into x is the multiply number so I am sending to RHS it will become a division you have learned all this basics in your school level. X equal to 12.07. Or you can make it as you can make it as 12. So our missing frequency. Our missing frequency is 12. I hope you have understood how to calculate missing frequency in discrete series. In my next video, I'm going to explain you how to calculate missing frequency in mean in continuous series. Hope you like the video. Enjoy learning.